Estimating tips. I bet this game feels like real life to you kids. I bet you help your parents with the, the math on their tips all the time since you're playing math games and they're not, right? So let's estimate the amount of the tip by rounding the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. 16% tip on a bill of 15.25. Okay, so the, the instructions are round the bill to the nearest dollar, so 15. And in real life, you'd probably even round this tip, right? Because 16% is a complicated tip to give. What a stickler who's like, oh, I have to give exactly a 16% tip. Um, so here's $15 and you wanna do a 16% tip. So you do 15. And you multiply by 0 0.16. Because you to get a percent, you move the decimal over two to make it a decimal. Sorry, to turn a percent into a decimal, you move the decimal point over two to the left. You know that. So six times five is 30. And then I'm gonna have a three up here. And I'm gonna have six times one is six plus three is nine. And then I'll have a five and a one, just multiplying 16 and 15. So it's gonna give me 240. Okay, so that's gonna give me a $2.40 tip, and I saved some heartache by like not including that $25, uh, that 25 cents. Technically, it's slightly more than 240, but that's okay, 240. Well, let's make sure, estimate the amount of the tip. Right, they could have asked estimate the total bill, right? But they're saying the tip. Estimate the amount of the tip by running the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. Okay, so we're going to take the seven dollars. We're going to round it to seven, and then we're going to do a five percent tip. All right, so what are we doing? Seven times five percent, which is seven times point oh five. It's going to be thirty-five. We have two decimal places, so we have to move the answer over two decimal places, so it'll be 0 0.35. 35 cent tip. Please don't be that person that leaves a 35 cent tip. All the math in the world will not teach you that you should just be generous on your tips. Estimate the amount of the tip by rounding the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. 73% on a bill of 11.78. Now that's a little bit too generous, but we'll go with it. We appreciate the spirit here. So this is $12. And so we have 73.73 times one, two, gives us six, gives us 14, gives us three, gives us seven, Six, seven, eight. We have two decimal places. So we have $8.76. That's a hefty tip on an $11.78 bill. But hey, maybe you're having a good day. You, you know, you'll go out for breakfast. You see a puppy. You're like, I don't care. I just feel like tipping $8.76. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the uh, waiter or waitress a $20 bill. Why not? Everyone feels good. Estimate the amount of the tip by rounding the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. 12% on a bill of 9.79. This is great because I love working with $10 and you should too. We're dealing with $10. A 12% tip is gonna involve a 12, right? I mean, you're gonna multiply 0 0.12 by 10. That's gonna be it's going to be 120 somehow, and then the number of decimal places is two, so it's going to be a dollar or 20. In other words, when you multiply by 10, you know you're going to get 120, and you know that it's going to be a dollar 20. That feels like the right amount, right? So, one dollar and 20 cents. That's the tip. Estimate the amount of the tip by rounding the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. 63% tip on a 1056 bill. See, that makes us sad. We wish that were like 1049 and we could round to 10, but now we have to go to 11. 11 is way harder to work with than 10. So we have, well, 
I'm, I'm being dramatic. It's not that much harder. 0.63, 11, 3, 1, 3, 6, 3, 9, 6. So you get 6.93. It's kind of fun. Makes me feel like going out. Estimate the amount of the tip by rounding the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. 86% tip on a bill of 1492. That's when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. At least that's what we were taught, but we're finding out a lot of bad things about Columbus kids. 15 times 86%. So we'll do 86% here. And we have a point here. Five times six is 30. And then we have eight times five is 40 plus that three. So we have 43. Then we have six and we have eight. I will get better at this multiplication handwriting. Zero, nine, 12, so we end up with 1290. That feels close, right? That feels close to 1492. Again, 86% is a huge tip, right? So that's okay. Um, yeah, $12.90. Estimate the amount of the tip by rounding to the nearest dollar before calculating. So we're gonna round to six. Six times three is gonna give us 18, right? But now we're like, hmm, it's actually, we have to, I mean, we know it's, you could just kind of know it's 18 cents at that point if you don't want to get really, right? That's the only logical choice. So six times three is 18, moving the decimal places over by two gives us 18 cents. You can also adjust the decimal place by feel sometimes. Here's what I mean. This is $10. When you multiply 10 by 53, you get 530. You can just feel that the decimal place should be here, right? If you're taking about half of 965, you don't have to get too technical, right? You know it's 530, you know the decimal's probably here, so it's $5.30. Okay, how about this? So we've got $7, and we have a 47% tip. Right. There's actually only one logical choice here. I feel like we should we should play play with that idea. Right. Forty seven is really close to 50 percent. Right. So we're talking about half of seven bucks. What's half of seven bucks? Three fifty. Right. So is it going to be more or less than three fifty? It's going to be less than three fifty. So, it, it, you know, it rules out three seventy three, but it's also not that much less than 50 percent. Right. So. It's not going to be $2.38 or $2.73. It's going to be $3.29. And estimate the amount of the tip by rounding the bill to the nearest dollar before calculating. 34% tip on a bill of $16.60. Okay. So that's a $17 tip. All right, $17 bill. And we'll work through it. So 34 times 17, it's actually 0.34 times 17. It's gonna give us a 28. And we'll have seven times three is 21. So 23, there'll be a four here. There'll be a three here. We'll get eight, seven, five. So we're gonna have a $5.78 tip, right? Two decimal places, two decimal places. $5.78. All right, well, have a great day, either calculating tips or eating at home.